So the first thing we need to do to make money is to find edge, which is edge is also known as positive expected value. So the canonical example of edge is having a loaded coin. You have a coin which comes up heads 55% of the time, that gives you edge. It means if you play that game, tossing the coin enough times, you're going to make money on average. So your big thing as a trader, first of all, is to find edge. Now, usually you need to obviously be right in your prediction, i.e. Your, your edge actually has to exist. You have to know that coin really is loaded, but you also have to be different from the market. If you're not different in this case, you're not gonna find anyone to play against. So it's not enough to know something. You also have to know something that isn't perfectly known by the market, usually. Now this is to find what we would call alpha. And we come from a very, alpha was originally a very technical term related to the capital asset pricing model. And it basically, as a trader, you think of alpha as sort of profits that you make. Um, so they're not just sitting out there for anyone. You have to sort of work at them, either by execution or by doing research to find this different thing. To find edge, edge is not, we measure it as a mathematical phenomenon, but edge comes from observation. Edge comes from observing phenomena something like stocks go up. Now we've known that as long as we've had stocks, we have seen that stocks go up in value. This is like the most well-documented fact in finance. So it goes back to studies, very, very good, very, uh, very careful studies have documented that going back to the, at least the mid 1700s. So that's the important thing in that case, it's the phenomena. Once we have that, we have to start doing modeling. We have to sort of, how do we quantify the phenomena? Because you can't do mathematical analysis on stocks go up. You need to quantify that. But edge, or the phenomena always comes first. You never start with a model. And again, I don't wanna pick on the young people. I'm gonna, should say, people coming into the market particularly from an engineering or quantitative background, get this the wrong way around. They start with a model or they start with a technique. And particularly these days, that technique is machine learning. So people are like, how do I use machine learning to, no, 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 no. You're doing that backwards. The question isn't how you use machine learning to find an edge. The question is, how do you use machine learning to improve the edge you have already found. So it's the same as using any other mathematical technique. Everything starts with phenomena, then you go to modeling. So this is the disadvantage of having these bullets come up in order like that, in that they kind of always surprise me, and this is one I've already talked about. Anyway, options give us the opportunity to get edge from a very forecastable quantity, which is volatility. And in some ways, this is the most important part about options, not even to do the forecasting, but to know that it's possible. So by getting to the options world, we've put ourselves in a situation where it might be possible for us to win. And that's a big jump 